Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. In today's video, I would like to share a few things that I found in Antarctica that go along with a theory that I've had for a long time about what we call Antarctica used to be. Now, in this particular map we've used before, it's called Magellanica. I've made the proposal that I think it's a conglomeration of two terms, Magaya and Nika, meaning only afloat, meaning or only by boat can you get here. There's also cities, um, primarily Venice, I'm thinking of, that the only way you get through the city is on a boat because it's just all channels of water. Very uh, coincidentally, Venezuela means Little Venice. And just as a quick update, the president of Colombia has just admitted that he fabricated evidence against the leaders of Venezuela regarding uh, drug dealing and drug trafficking. So that's about as much of an update on that as I can give. But the theory that I'm speaking of is regarding another place that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. It's called Agartha. Now, the reason I think that the stories of Agartha have been misconstrued has to do with this fault of language. At this time, many people, many uh, individuals were not educated. They didn't read. So stories were passed along through the spoken word. So let's make the assumption that you were on a voyage, you were on a ship, and you arrived at this place called that you called Gartha, and you saw all of these incredible things. And you came back, and you wanted to relay this story to your friends and your family and your loved ones. The first thing they're going to want to know is, where is this incredible place? Well, given the limitation of language at the time, if it were at, say, the pole, 
the axis upon which we spin, the planet spins, how would you differentiate the middle of the Earth or the center of the Earth? At that time, in that language, that would have been a very difficult but subtle difference to make. Because if they sailed all the way to the pole where we spin, that could be construed as the center of the Earth. But Mediterranean, the reason I show this image, also means Middle Earth. So you would have to, when you told the story, in some way differentiate those two terms. That's why I think we have this misconstrued idea of, we'll get to this in a second, of Agartha being in the center or the core of a hollow planet. I don't think that's the case at all. What they were trying to do was differentiate the two words, center of and middle of, which to uneducated people at the time that didn't write would have been a very difficult thing to do. Now, I'm not discounting the idea of there being underground civilizations. In fact, it's my entire allegation that Antarctica, the way we see it now, underneath all of that ice, there is still a subglacial, subterranean civilization that has been going on, largely removed from the other six continents as far as its um, advancement. It would have missed out on a great many things depending on how far back you want to go. The Black Death in the 1300s exterminated a great deal of Europe. So many different things have set um, our world back. And with the interconnectivity that we have, when things go wrong in one place, they eventually go wrong in another, especially when you talk about finances. But that's another story for another day. But that's why I think this all got started. It was just a misinterpretation. Not any type of uh, attempt to deceive, but just a misinterpretation that, you know, you go down to the, the pole and then you go down, you know, even if you were going to go down three or four miles to somebody at that time, that would have seemed like almost the center of the earth. And that's where we get these stories. And the reason I had this image up is the things that I have found in Antarctica, I've mentioned before, sometimes just defy description. So I don't have any real good words. And the only, I guess, uh, allegory I can make for this is imagine being the first European to set eyes on Egyptian hieroglyphs or cuneiform and then trying to go back to classical Europe and say, yes, this is a language. They would have seen it as just scrawlings of heathens on cave walls. But we know that it is much, much more than that. Now, I haven't shown this image in a while, and I wanted to show it again. It was one of the first discoveries that I ever made, was this enormous fish setting on the ice. And I do have the 4K computer on the way, and I believe the settings are still where they were yesterday on the camera. So this is recording in 4K. So I'm going to try to zoom in and give you guys the best possible image of this I can. Now, while the camera is recording in 4K, of course, the image that on the screen is only 1024 by 768. That's going to change very soon, and we will have complete 4K. But there are just one of the first things that I found that made me believe that there was people down there trying to communicate with us was this image here. Sorry for the adjustment noise there, but it really, honest to God, looks like pi 2 r and then if you look below it closely, there's also a V. Now, pi 2r is not volume. Pi 2r is uh, the area of a circle. Now, if you would have a cylinder, you could add an H in there, and then you could pi 2r times the H, and then you get the volume of the cylinder. But if you were on a map, 
and you were trying to find the center, this would be a key key um, equation to know. And I wonder if this was some type of an attempt to help perhaps searchers at the time, in vain, locate stranded survivors of some expedition. I mean, who knows historically, you know, who went down there at what time? And I know a lot of expeditions were just written off as lost. There's another region over here, and it's it's one of the reasons that I uh, brought up the thing about Egyptian cuneiform. Because there's images scrawled all over the snow that you can see that I mean, I could possibly make out here a Q and a P and an A, but, I mean, who knows what these letters actually mean. We saw that QPV formation that we talked about, and we traced that to um, Freda Mag Magellanicum. But it goes on and on and on, images like this, that you just can't ascribe to wind, ice, rock, and snow. They look very created, very planned. Now, I have no earthly clue what a lot of this would even mean. Some of these things do look like animals, just like we see in Egyptian cuneiform. Another image I found close by here shows... some very familiar imagery here. It's uh, it's just a bunch of series of squares, and you could, I guess, you could say there's an L there and there's an E there, but really, depending on the angle you look at it, you also see this, and that looks very much like a swastika. It's kind of uh damaged a little bit, but, I mean, I, that's pretty darn close. I mean, you're missing a little bit here, but if it, this could have been some message left from some German expedition down there back World War II era. So, it, like I said, it just goes on and on and on. The things that uh, can be discovered down here. Google Earth Pro. I'll give you these locations. Download the program onto your laptop or your computer or whatever. You can search this for yourself. You can go look and see this stuff. And uh, we'll figure this out together eventually. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was a bugger.
beyond prison chains. Isn't the land a site of world survival? 